The Clarendon family of five brutally murdered in Cocoa Piece Clarendon was laid to rest today. Hundreds of mourners turned out to pay their respects. Our reporter Dwayne Anderson attended the funeral in Chapleton, Clarendon and has this report. Sunday was the moment to say goodbye, but goodbyes are never easy. Tears streamed down the faces of mourners as they struggled with grief. We dreaded this day. We knew it would have been difficult, but I mean, the reality of it is even, you know, worse than we um, dreaded. We're not alone, we have each other. We stand as a team, we stand as a family, and we also stand in the strength of Almighty God. And that is why we have the surety, the blessed hope that we will get through this day. Hundreds of people turned up to support the family. They packed into the main hall at Clarendon College, as well as this tent and whatever other vantage point. Cars also lined the sidewalk and rode into the nearby Chapleton Square. This was the largest funeral most of these residents say they have ever seen. Witter and Son's funeral home had the responsibility of helping to put together a fitting farewell. This one is completely different. Your heart, no matter what you say, your heart bleeds. As an undertaker, doesn't matter, this is coming like it's your own child. So you put everything out, you try to do everything to comfort the family and yourself to make sure that everything is well. Um, why did y'all decide to go with putting one of the child with the mother? What's the reason behind that? Okay, it's a small child. The family wanted it. And once the family wanted it, we have to do it. The father wanted it and we have to please the family. That's what it's about. Mm -hmm. You must please the family, not yourself. So we have to do what the family wanted. And in these circumstances, I agree with the family to put the, the baby with the mother. Even though if you realize the cats, it have to be a, a little bit bigger, but we do what we have to do to please. The operator of the funeral home said his staff struggled with the case. It was not easy to prepare the bodies of children and a woman with 20 and 40 stab wounds. Believe me, they took it hard too. I have staff that said they're not going around the back. They would even go around there and look at them. Some staff will give support, but they would not go around there because they cannot deal with it. They cannot. Some of them is here right now. Some politicians attended the funeral. They included the Prime Minister Andrew Holness, Opposition Leader Mark Golding, MP Robert Morgan and Education Minister Favel Williams. Over $3 million was reportedly spent by the political directorate to assist with the funeral. Mr. Holness in his address reiterated that in order to achieve a long-term solution to crime and violence, a cultural shift is needed. This, he reasons, will help people resolve conflicts such as the one that claimed the lives of the five people in Cocoa Peace. Ultimately, it comes down to our heart. What do we believe in our heart? Are we willing to forgive? Are we willing not to use violence? Are we willing to seek peace and not escalate simple situations into conflict? It depends on what we do. Perceived disrespect is never our grounds for killing anybody. Nothing can go so. It just leaves a trail of destruction, of bitterness and unhappiness behind. We must do better as a nation. Prime Minister, you have my support on all measures to turn this country around to a better place. One Jamaica. The funeral service started 11 a.m. and ended around 4 p.m. In the end, a five-hour service for the Clarendon family of five. They were laid to rest at the Sutton Cemetery. Reporting from Clarendon College in Chapleton, I'm Dwayne Anderson for TVJ News.